Yeah, we have a lot of new guys and uh, we're starting to build on it when the season started. So, um, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time because we changed more, more uh, players this year uh, than previous years. So, but the guys that have been coming in are coming in with the quality and uh, young experience and then uh, some quick feet. So, I think it, uh, it will be good. Uh, just need to get the connections together and uh, I think we're ready to go in three weeks. Mentioned there was a lot of new players that came in, with, obviously with quality. Uh, Oscar said earlier this preseason that the team needed a, a refresh. Uh, do you see that the team? How do you see that refresh right now with the team? Uh, is, there, is there that chemistry now with the new guys that come in? And, and yeah, I mean you can see that they have quality, and then of course when you uh, coming as a new player or you get a new players in the squad, you need to get them into the. Um, to the tactics and uh, the way that we play as quick as possible. So um, um, I'm not uh, concerned about that, uh, but it takes some time to build it together. But uh, it looks good from uh, what I've seen and been uh, training here the first couple of weeks. So, uh, how do you feel physically since you uh, play last game? Anything going on with you? Uh, how's everything going? No, I mean it goes. Uh, it goes quite good. Um, I mean, I haven't uh, trained like uh, properly since uh, I got the injury in the middle of August. So, of course, I'm not 100% uh, yet, but uh, I will be there shortly. Did you do anything during the off season to, to, re to recover? Uh, could, could you at least work out while um, you were recovering during the off season? <laughs> yeah, when I got on my cast, I could start to do my uh, rehabilitation. The, and the guys here, the, our doctors, uh, with uh, Dave Tyler and uh, everyone in the in the team, has uh, set me up to succeed as uh, as good as possible. And I'm very happy to have uh, have them in my back to help me out to get back on the field. Have you seen Martin Ojeda? If I have seen him? Have you seen him before in the practices? Uh... Yeah, he's looking good. Uh, has a good left feet. Uh, he's a tricky guy. He's quick. He likes to have the ball at his feet. Good shot and. Uh, yeah, he looks uh, he looks good, and it's an uh, it's a good uh, addition to our squad. Yes. How do you see the team compared from last year? Oh, that's hard to say. Like uh, only having three weeks, uh, but uh, we will have some change here and there, and um, obviously we will be uh, more younger than the previous years, and um, hopefully bringing a little bit more speed in there and uh, get it together as good as possible. Yeah. What do you wish to accomplish this season? I mean, last year we won the, the Open Cup, which was a step in the right direction to win the trophy. Uh, first time in the club's history and uh, it's just continue building on that, trying to go for uh, the next Open Cup, see if we can make it and then also the uh, MLS uh, Cup. 
at this point, do you, do you see yourself as a as a leader now in this team, and perhaps with the younger guy that you mentioned that are, are new to the squad? Yeah, I have uh, I have got some experience here with the team and in the league, so uh, yeah, I would say that. Robin, uh, I mean, it's already new uh, training equipment. Have you seen the, the official jersey in the league? I've seen it, yes. Have you? No, I, I, I you. Then you have to wait, right? Is it perfect? Any league? What? And, uh, anything new in the, the uniform? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a little, little bit um, smaller this year, but we will see. Is it, is it purple? <laughs> That's a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Oscar. You guys just had your first scrimmage of the preseason on Wednesday. You've got another one tomorrow. How did that first scrimmage go for you guys? Uh, well, uh, first, thank you uh, for being here and being around us and supporting the club and connecting us with the community. The scrimmage in a friendly game was very good. Uh, the response uh, beyond the result, which is the most important in this stage of uh, the season, was very good. Uh, for us, gave us uh, an idea of what aspects we need to uh, keep working on, and and then analysis some of the youngsters, guys that are that are in the team, the new players, the connection. So it was very rich. It was it was very good experience. At this point in the preseason, are you starting to see the team that you envisioned on February 25th, or are you guys still kind of working to to live up to that vision that you want to see the team? Right. I think we are where where we are. Uh, the basics, the culture, uh, the model idea that we have uh, brought to Orlando is there. We have spent already three years in the, in the team, regardless of the names and the players, he was going to sustain that culture tactically, in a discipline, in the way we express ourselves. Now we want to do that better and better. And uh, now the job during preseason is to see how being this game so dynamic, because it changed just depending of the uh, chemistries and, and, and how the how the players how the players interact with each other. Uh, so, so all those things we need to see and how can we glue that together? That, that's that's the job. Cartagena estuvo jugando de back central, es una de sus, uh, es una de las posibilidades que ha visto usted en él para este, para este, esta temporada en caso tal, necesite jugar con línea de 5, de repente necesite un central descansar por los torneos que van sucediendo durante toda esta temporada. Eh, Wilder ha sido un extraordinario jugador para nosotros, que ha tenido paciencia, que se ha instalado dentro del grupo con mucho profesionalismo, eh, que ha sabido esperar el momento, seguramente este año pues, va a traer muchas más participaciones porque es un jugador muy versátil, es un jugador que puede actuar en múltiples eh, posicionamientos y a nosotros nos cae re bien porque esa versatilidad la vamos a aprovechar de la mejor manera. Profe, ¿y los laterales? Eh, he escuchado que quedó muy a gusto con el primer partido, como mencionó en la primera pregunta, pero le ha gustado mucho a ver a Angulo también como el otro lateral eh, en, en ese sistema de cinco. Sí, es, es también parte eh, de esa versatilidad que te estoy hablando, de tener un equipo que se pueda acomodar a una estrategia definida sin perder los matices, sin perder lo que nosotros somos, nuestras ideas de juego, nuestro protagonismo, nuestras ganas de ser un equipo con iniciativas. Pero eso independiente del mapa que hagamos en la cancha con nuestros jugadores, es lo que queremos no solo mantener sino mejorar y que los jugadores se vuelvan un poco más dinámicos en acomodarse en esos modelos de juego. E ese ya no fui yo. Es muy temprano que la temporada, pero ¿cómo va lo de Robin y lo Antonio Carlos? No, están todos muy bien. Mira, eh, los muchachos todos tienen procesos diferentes, ¿no? ¿no? No es que estén lesionados, no es que estén... No, están con procesos diferentes y nosotros los estamos llevando porque la pretemporada es larga. So uh, this is a good thing as well just to bring it up about uh, Antonio, Robin and, and the guys. It's difficult to put 28 players in the same stage in the same time and especially if you have this this uh, off season that long. 
So uh, we have we have we have the guys. Well, they they're fine. We just they are in a different stages, and I think in the next week we will have them all uh, probably in the same rhythm. So don't make too many equations. So who is not in the training? Who who isn't? Is uh, is it just that the players came with different uh, ways, and now we're dealing with. Sí. sí, mira, estamos muy contentos con el primer ejercicio el, el, eh, contra Minnesota, un equipo que ya tenía tres partidos de pretemporada, nosotros jugamos nuestro primer partido, el, el, el rendimiento del equipo nos gustó mucho, eh, nos vimos muy bien, nos, nos vimos muy preparados, todavía nos falta un tiempo, eh, los jugadores que llegaron pues se amoldaron muy bien, se han, han entendido, hemos gastado tiempo con ellos para poderles acortar el, el camino de la adaptación. Eh, Dagur entró muy bien con cuatro entrenamientos, ya vino y se adaptó como si ya estuviera tiempo, mucho tiempo acá. Estamos contentos, estamos contentos, esperamos seguir así. ¿Cuánto tiempo estuvieron, porque es el, el proceso cuando fichan jugadores, a veces como Pantino Heda, hace un año y medio, Tratando de ficharlo, ¿cuánto tiempo el equipo estaba cazando a, a Dagur para, para llegar al equipo? A Dagur, no, pues no podría hablarte con un término bien preciso, pero no, no mucho, no mucho. Con Dagur hicimos un, nuestro departamento de scouting, hizo un gran trabajo y no es fácil, perdón, es muy fácil detectar al que todos ven, al mejor, ¿no? Nosotros tratamos de ver al que, al que nadie ve. En, en, han hecho un muy buen trabajo los, los, nuestro departamento de scouting. Es un tremendo job that our scouting department has done on just bringing players and names that are now very popular. Uh, that's probably the magic of our work. And uh, we, we, now we have a job on just make that work in the field. Profe, te quería preguntar, Gastón, eh, ya, obviamente ya está integrado al, al grupo, se estaba calentando el antier, no sé si tuvo parte en el partido contra Minnesota, pero ¿cómo lo ves eh, eh, en su recuperación? ¿Ya está al 100% y crees que ya eh, eh, bueno, puedes tener algún parte en el 11 cuando inicie la temporada? And Gastón is ready, Gastón is ready to go. Uh, again, uh, I think what you have seen so far or what you have uh, uh, here, is that the players are in a different stages doesn't mean that they're not up to play. So Gaston is ready to go. Gaston está listo para jugar. Eh, a veces si no ven algún de los muchachos es porque lo estamos manejando en una escala diferente, pero no más. Es, Gaston está ya para jugar y competir. Eh, estamos muy ilusionados con él. Profe, y, mm. profe, y, y este, con esta contratación se cierra a Orlando o van a haber sorpresas para firmar jugadores en lo que todavía está la ventana abierta? Ah, bueno, esa es una pregunta para los directivos porque los entrenadores siempre pedimos más y más. <ríe> Entonces, esperemos a ver. Yo creo que por ahora pues estamos muy completos ya. El, el club ha hecho un esfuerzo muy grande, muy, muy grande lo han hecho. Yo lo valoro mucho y espero que podamos traducir en resultados eso. Facundo no está eh, integrado hoy, eh, imagino que está regresado a Uruguay ya. ¿eh? Ah, Facu, sí. again, since we have in this period uh, a, lot, a lot of things that come uh, on, the, on the table, so whether the player needs some different job or they need to go back because they have visa process and things like that, but nothing else. Estamos con lo de Facu, por ejemplo, también es eso de que los jugadores hay unos que los estamos trabajando diferentes, otros tienen que ir a su país a recoger su visa ya o cosas, pero nada más, no hay, no hay, no hay mucho más.